We now return to Let's Play Lux Deluxe. As promised, we're going to go into the Silicon Valley map. I think I'm going to turn on some light biohazard, just because I feel like that might be appropriate for this map, so let's give it a try. Alright, here we go. Uh, no one's on the map right now, so it looks like I might actually be first, which might give me an advantage. So we have, looks like, radiation and fire. Uh, I'm not sure if fire is actually going to stop us, but I, I think this will. I don't think we can move through that. This might cause us damage. I don't know, I still haven't read what the various things do, so... Uh, we own a lot of businesses, though. We've got Apple, eBay, and Adobe, which are giving me bonuses just by themselves. So never mind owning any of the territory. I may want to look at sort of defending that. Uh, I can move around here. I mean, I've, I've got some choke points thanks to those... Well, they're bridges, but uh, they are, you know wireless uh, network ways. Um, I might want to push up into here though. Try and take purple, because purple's found some corners and uh, I got a chip on my shoulder against purple because of Rome. Um, okay, you know what, let's, let's stay down here and then we can maybe push because these are good choke points all the way up along here and that fire by itself is probably good protection as well. The problem I'm facing here is that I have those two territories. If I want to take this back, I'm going to be wasting some backtracking. Uh, the troops are custom troops. They look like they are mechs or space marines or something like that. Put a few here so I can capture that. Looks like orange is going to take the middle of the map which I'm not really crazy about. Green is consolidating up there, and red and white are putting all of their eggs in this basket up here. They are gonna take that whole section. Um, I might want to try and defend against these guys. That looks like it's gonna be a pain in the butt. On the other hand, I think we'll just uh, spread a little bit thinly. Okay, nine troops. This should be pretty good to take all of this stuff, so we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Should I move across there? Should I just keep going? Yes. Yes, I should. Um, we'll send... Okay, we'll split that up. Not, not so great. We'll put these guys here, and we'll hope that Orange is merciful. Uh, I could move across there as well. Uh, that's going to expend some troops. I just don't want Orange to put up a bunch of stuff there. What do we... Oh, I can actually see the stuff right there. Hmm, okay. Well, let's give this a try. Really, I think this is going to come down to punching these guys in the face. You know, knocking down their huge troop. Oh my god, what is going on? Well, that's good to see. I mean, Red is now kind of neutralized. Uh, we just lost Apple. But there's a big patch of orange here that I'm not too fond of. So, the question is, which one do we go for? Do we go for taking some of green, or do we take uh, a little bit of orange? And I think we might want to take orange, because orange... Well, orange was not my friend last time around. Orange looks like... I mean, this whole area looks like it's going to be a lot harder to defend, though. I mean, we could sweep up here and take a lot of territory. Okay. I'm gonna put my faith in this. We'll take Cisco. We'll stop at Cisco. Take this. And it looks like I moved all my guys there, which was not really the intention. We'll take Apple back. And we'll move you back there. Okay. Let's see what that's gonna do. Okay, okay. Wants to play that way, that's fine. Green has two cards. I could take them quite easily right now. If I went up there, I'd hit one, move across, and I'd be right there. I'd leave this whole section open to red, but I would take green and get their two cards. 
then I'd leave orange completely open to whatever it wants to do. So that's not so great either. Just I'm sweeping in here. Why does the computer do this? I don't really understand why one computer decides it's going to sit in the corner and build up. I really can't let that happen again. That was a disaster the last time it happened. Okay, I'm going to split like that many troops there and this many troops here. We're going to move across. I'm going to do this. Lose a lot of troops. Way too many troops to lose there. And I did not accomplish what I had set out to do. God damn it. Can we try it? No, let's not try it. We're just going to waste a lot of troops doing that. On the other hand, if we succeeded in doing it... Alright, let's risk it. And I lost it all. Never gamble. Okay, here we go. Let's see what I get punished for here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, well, on the other hand... Yeah. Okay, that's only four, though. That sucks. Well, I could move back here and just keep moving along. Which I think I'm going to have to do. Let's see, red? Red is not in any proximity to being knocked out, but at the other side of that, I don't really want them to have more territory. Um, so I could, you know, if I put those four there, probably wouldn't make more than three. Let's continue taking back our territories. Because we need to. Alright. And then... I kind of want to move them back here. That leaves this whole area open. Looks like red smashed itself against me though, so that was good. And it looks like orange did the same thing. Uh, we can really punish orange right now. Gotta get over there to white. That is gonna be a huge problem. If I could just sweep all of this, I mean, that's only 25. That's not gonna get me very far. It might get me far enough. I would love to just sweep all of this and choke it off right there. Then I could just build up, get a huge force to push back into that. Uh, purple, purple has... Can we try and snipe purple? Do you think? Maybe if I just beelined it straight through and went in, then I'd get the three cards from purple? That's really risky. And it would take more than one turn. Alright, we need to take some territory from orange. Fifteen. You know, I might actually be able to get up there. I get over there. Ah, 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 ah. Might be able to take Google, but uh, at great risk. Okay, let's try it anyway, just because we can take out orange. And get the cards. No, no, come on, game, fuck you. Damn it. Okay, well, now I'm in some trouble. Um. Yeah, shit. And then red got him. That was the risk. Damn it. Okay, well now we're going to have to focus on fighting off red, and I did this badly. So now I guess we're just fortifying. Now they're fortified in the middle of nothing. That was really dumb. Okay. But I'm expecting red to come my way. Which it did. Got a lot of armies now, so I can make that push. Or I can just come up here and try and take purple, which would give me three cards. Not necessarily any big advantage that way. Let's try it. Let's see if we can't get something good from that. Okay. So, I can sneakily sneak through here. Try to, anyway. Otherwise, I don't see what I'm going to get out of this. If I left them there, I'm sure that might provoke white. So let's move back along here. Let's make this weird shape. 
I don't know why I did that. That's not really conducive to anything. And it left a big splotch of red down there, but I would not have been able to fight them anyway. What do I have? Big cards. There we go. 53. That might be my only chance to take them out. Not necessarily. I mean, I could still do it. Taking out red would give me four. So if I left a big enough force back here, what do you think that would take? Maybe 15? 20? And that would leave me 35, but, I mean, this is going to be a big thing that's probably going to knock out a bunch of my guys. Let's try it with 15. Let's try it with 10. Let's try it with 12. Let's try it with 13 so I have that even number. Um, okay. Okay, so... Come on, okay. Keep the rest in there. Can we make it down there? Yes. Okay. Now, you've got to do this. Uh, let's see if I... Let, let's plan this here so that I can get it right. If I snuck up around that way, then we could maybe get that. Maybe get that. Okay. How many did I lose there? Not a lot there. Okay. This might actually work out. I'm leaving myself way behind the lines. It's only 16. Damn it. Oh my god, that's not so great. Okay, let's try and wipe this guy out. A little bit. I mean, obviously we're not going to make it, but... Uh, that's dumb. I need to consolidate these guys. Let's not waste troops unnecessarily. I mean, if he does come this way, he'll knock out a bunch. The computer might be smart enough to go path of least resistance. Might have to come up around that way. Uh, okay, we'll put him there. Okay. Let's go through here and see what this does. Oh, I can't even go through there. Okay, all biohazards then apparently do the same thing, which is effectively block your ability to move through that part of the territory. Look at that. I went all the way around. That's, that's totally not how that's supposed to go. I'm pretty darn sure. Okay, just stay there, please. Stop doing that. Okay, let's see what happens here. Really? He didn't move? Okay, computer. My mech. Mortal Kombat, if you say so. So, uh... There's something severely wrong there. I mean, if White had actually used its force to move around, I don't know what the hell... I should have... Shaft. Shaft is the... Well, maybe I should make sure that, uh... Shaft is not being used. Shaft might be a broken AI. I'm not sure what the other guys were using. I don't really remember. I can go back and look at the other videos. But uh, if the AIs that are just sitting there are using the Shaft, then uh, we need to make sure that's not being used. Although it makes the game much easier for me. Okay. So, uh, I don't think I'll go through the World War II ones. I'm interested in looking at this USA war zone because this is like an alternative post-apocalyptic thing. We can put some more biohazards on there. That'll change the uh, the landscape a bit. That might be interesting. Then we think we'll probably look into. Uh, well, I haven't tried the siege one. This might be interesting. I don't know. Might look at a few more of these before going into the custom maps. Like I said, there were a few that kind of caught my eye, and I'd like to look at those. So. Uh, We'll give that a shot. Okay, and this one here, and I'll see you next time.